Soybean is one of the most important grain crops in the United States. In the southern U.S., many farmers grow soybean on land previously cropped only to cotton. Many cotton-associated pathogens impact soybean, in particular the southern root knot nematode. This nematode can inflict severe damage to soybean, resulting in significant yield loss. Control methods are limited. These strategies include crop rotation, planting crops that are not hosts to root knot. However, southern root knot nematode has a broad host range limiting choices. Nematode resistant soybean varieties. However, the number of high yield producing resistant varieties are limited. Nematocyte applications, such as the pre plant fumigant Telone 2 or seed applied nematocytes. Seed treatments can provide short periods of production if nematode pressure is low, but are not as effective as Telone. However, Telone supply is limited and application costs are high. The plant pathologists from the mid southern U.S. are focused on sustainable nematode control. For example, if nematocyte applications are limited to specific areas where damage is severe, then the volume of nematocytes used can be reduced. This is possible because nematode populations are dependent on soil texture which is quite variable in many fields. The southern root knot nematode prefers coarse, sandy soils, which typically had a history of cotton production. A study was conducted in the southern U.S. comparing strips of soybean, either non-treated or telone treated with or without a seed-applied nematocyte. Using two different nematocytes enabled the team to determine their relative effectiveness. Electrical conductivity was used to create soil texture maps. Electrical conductivity primarily measures soil salt concentrations, which are strongly related to soil texture. The finer the soil texture, the greater the salt concentration, resulting in greater electrical conductivity. Soil samples collected from each field help determine the abundance of specific nematodes present. Yield maps were created to establish the relationship between yield, soil texture, nematode population, and nematocyte treatment. Results indicated that in areas where the soil textures favored root knot nematodes, telone treatment significantly improved soybean yield. However, nematocyte application did not affect yield where soil type did not favor the nematode. Therefore, site-specific applications of telone can be used to control root knot nematode and maintain high soybean yield.